Okay guys, uh, I just wanted to do a little quick video of the sled, that's small s, capital L-E-D, um, light that is connected to the bumper. So it's called the S-L-E-D bumper light. And of course I got it from Chris at C&T, uh, fantastic guy to deal with. Um, and thanks to Len for developing this very, very nice, very, very, very nice LED light kit. Um, okay, so a couple of caveats. I wired mine to my current LED switch here. I had, I had an LED lit switch for some of you who haven't seen my videos, um, which connects my signature LED handguards. Um, so I wanted everything to be interconnected and I wanted it to be able to be turned on, obviously while the sled is not running. Um, now with lens um, kit, it comes complete and you do not need the sled running for his kit either. Um, and he has a very, very nice switch and wiring harness. It's all really heavy duty probably the best I've ever seen as far as LED light kits. Um, it's, this is not any Chinese cheap knockoff or anything. Um, really high-end stuff. Um, so the only difference between lens kit and how I wired my kit specifically is I just ran the light up to my own switch um, because I already had it on my sled. But as I said, lens switch is uh, fantastic. and. Uh, I'll show you that in a minute. Anyways, I got the lights off in the garage. Sled is not running. Obviously, that's my switch. Hit the switch there, you get a lit switch. Not only does it turn on my LEDs from last year, but now it turns on this amazing new strip light, which is on the lower section of the bumper. So while you're standing up here, um, you don't see it. So for normal daytime, when you're just checking out your sled or someone's looking at your sled, when you're looking around the sled, you won't even see this because it's on the lower section of the excess bumper, which is a fantastic spot for a light. Because what this does is, it, as you can see, it fills in all the light down in front of your machine down low where the headlight does not fill in because the headlight pushes way out further. So um, this is why I like this light so much. Um, the color is LED white. However, it's slightly, slightly, slightly less, um, I would say closer to like maybe a 4,500 uh, temperature. Whereas the LEDs are just slightly more, uh, maybe 5,000, I'm guessing. Um, so it's not a exact perfect match, but it's pretty good in my opinion. I think I can live with that. Um, now I'm going to start the machine here real quick, just to give you an idea. Now I've got the HID, um, sorry, I don't have the HID. I have the, uh, silver stars. That's what I got. Not, not HID, but silver star bulbs, um, the ultras, which are, are brighter and whiter than the stock bulbs. So now you can get an idea of the difference in the color. So it's pretty close. I think it all matches pretty darn good actually with those silver stars. Now what I'll do is I'll kind of get up on top here and I'll show you what happens when I turn See, now that's the LED handguards and the LED bumper light is off there. Look at how much that fills in below where you're riding. So there's the uh, headlight. See, it's dark down there now. So you can see how much that fills in down here. So, 
Now I'm going to do a little high beam, low beam. So that was high beam there, low beam. So you can really see how it works. But uh, I really like it, and I think uh, for the money, it's one heck of a nice kit um, that Len designed here and Chris sells um, over at C&T Power Sports. Um, now, what I should also say is with this kit um, being, you know, I mean, a lot of people worry about grabbing the bumper with your hand when you get stuck. I mounted this um, LED as low as I could on that section um, for a couple of reasons. I'm going to turn some lights on here. I mounted it as low as I could for a few reasons. Um, and basically, the reason is, is um, I like the fact that it's it's stealth looking you, you don't see it and this is what I really like about it um, you do have to do some just tiny little cuts here with a exacto knife um, or a box cutter um, just so the LED can kind of slip through where the plastics are um, let me turn them off for a second now you can kind of see what it looks like um, See, it, it's very uh, low-key looking. It's, hardly, it's hard to be seen. Now, I'm way down low here. But as you stand up and you get up here where you normally would walk around a machine and look at a machine, you can barely see it. So this is why I mounted it kind of low. And I like, the, I like the idea of it being stealth. And you can still grab your bumper and move your sled if you get stuck. Um, use, a, use a blow dryer. You know, get it really hot and, and pliable, and it'll stick really good with the uh, 3M uh, sticker that's already applied on the back. Um, other than that, it's, it's, it's a really nice, really nice setup. I'll try to get a little more light in here. It's a really sunny day, so it's super bright out. Yeah, that's a little bit better. There you can kind of see what's going on there. But as I said, once you stand up here and you're just kind of walking around, you don't even see it. So um, it's really sweet. And here's what it looks like during the day, you know, where it's brighter in, inside. So if you're on a trail during the day, coming down the trail on a sunny day, you got a lot of light showing. I mean, it's pretty darn good to me. Um, okay, so one other thing I wanted to show real quick is here's the rest of the kit. So he's got, like, Len, Len did a very thorough job on this kit. I've, I've never seen such an amazing kit as far as LED goes. Um, as I said, this is no cheap Chinese knockoff. There's several pages, looks like seven, eight, geez, seven. So yeah, seven pages of directions with pictures so I mean this is really really not hard to do I'm not even gonna do much in my write-up because the directions are so good usually I like to do a write-up on things um, because I, I have to because people are always asking me how to install stuff but but this kit is so well documented by Len that uh, I'm not gonna say much at all about it because it's very clear um, now here's the uh, amazing harness I, like now look at this this is heavy-duty stuff here he's got a relay um, look at the size of the wire I mean it's it's incredible here's the switch it's a uh, waterproof lit switch very very nice um, and you might be wondering you know why is that not on the machine well Again, my installation, I already had a switch on there for my uh, hand guards. So I literally just took one part of his harness, 
chopped it off and just ran it up to my switch. Um, it's really so, so simple. Um, and for those of you that have other setups, you literally have an LED strip with a positive and a negative coming out the end. I mean, you know, basically one goes to positive, one goes to negative. So if you just want to run his strip and um, his wire like I did up to your own switch, it's, it's, it's super easy to do. Um, and as Len says, uh, and I would, I would uh, not want to um, uh, forget about saying this, um, and again, I know this too because of my uh, LEDs up here, you can literally leave these on. I, I think you can actually, I can leave this whole setup on for something like 10 hours before it even starts to bite into the battery power. Um, LED power is so efficient and so low compared to the old incandescent bulbs, it just doesn't pull any, any wattage. So, um, you know, I think you could literally, I mean, I think Len even said, you know, he'll pull into a restaurant or a, or a bar or wherever he's riding and you, you don't even have to turn him off. You could just leave him on while you're in there eating if you wanted. Not, not that you would, but, but you could. Um, and obviously the best part that I like is trail side. I mean, how many times are you trail side and it's pitch black and you're talking with your buddies and, and all of a sudden you hear sleds coming and they're coming like a bat out of hell and you're like, shit, got to start the machine, got to start the machine, <laughs> you know, so you're, you're seen and now all you got to do is just go hit your switch. You don't have to start your machine um, or you can just leave it on while you're sitting there talking, you know, if you want to see what's going on or read your maps or whatever you want to do. Um, anyway, so that's, that's, that's the, uh, the sled with a small S and a capital LED. Pretty catchy there, Len. I, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, that's, uh, that's it. That's the, uh, the bumper sled LED for the XS uh, model. And, uh, I know a couple of guys are saying, you know, it seems like it's a little pricey, but... I'll tell you, for, for, for uh, I, I, don't, I don't even know, I think it's 100 and, 120, 115 bucks, whatever it was. It might seem like a lot, but when you're talking this, this kind of this proper directions and this kind of wiring harness, I mean, you, you, can't, you can't beat that. I mean, this is not an eBay China, Chinese uh, LED. So, um, Go ahead and buy it and throw it on there, and I think you're all going to like it. All right, guys. Winter's here. Won't be long now. See ya.